all right real quick let's go over what you possibly need in this book of war sun family treasure shop this baba treasure shop right here so uh with uh this book of war sun family there are a few units that i would honestly suggest but most of them are pretty much fodder at this point um I wouldn't pay attention to this guy this guy or this guy right here they're pretty terrible even after the easy a's he has some utility with uh, a high chance to stun and he uh, has a decent easy a but still not great uh, he's aged quite a bit uh, not this guy not this guy not this guy this guy we want to take a look at here in a little bit more in detail um, not this guy we're gonna take a look at him in more detail here in a little bit this guy's okay but I'm not gonna take a look at closer look at him because there are some better units out of uh, this pool of options here than him uh, this Gohan we're gonna take a look at as well and then this Goten as well so let's switch over to the wiki real quick and we'll start with this Gohan right here so the reasons why I picked these four units or three of them have their easy a's already and their easy a's are actually really really good or somewhat quite decent so um but this fourth unit this intelligence goten which we will talk about here in a minute he does not have his easy a yet which means there's some potential there if this is a unit you are going to choose now i am going to say right off the bat if you have a choice between um, these three or him, I would choose one of these three first because they already do have their easy A's. Make him a last choice out of these units. Um, but let's start off with the Gohan. Let's go into his details real quick. After his easy A, he's an all types leader skill. He greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, which is pretty good. Now, the key thing with this Gohan and the main thing I would highlight about him why you would want to choose him is he's an all allies support unit so key plus two in attack and defense plus 35 percent so that's actually one of the best supports um, in this game right now now granted there are 40 percent supports in this game and then, there, and then there's the 50 percent type supports we're not you know what we're not even going to talk about the type supports right now because they're absolutely trash in my opinion but uh the reason why this is so great is because it's an all allies uh support passive so it's not restricted to one category so that makes them very versatile and being able to um be on a lot of teams without you know having to really think about well maybe he shouldn't be on this team because he doesn't buff this all that stuff so it just makes it uh an all-around great passive skill and him an all-around great unit on the teams he's going to be run on so um and then moving on to this uh agl goten right here now his easy a is pretty good but his passive is a little bit restricted you need a Trunks, Krillin, or 18 in order to activate his full passive um, on the team. So, for the Trunks, you need him attacking in the same turn. With the Krillin or Android 18, you need them on the team. Uh, they don't need to be attacking in the same turn if for him to activate his full passive. So, um, other than that, he hits pretty decently hard i wouldn't say hard as far as what the current meta is evolving into right now but for a beginner for someone who's newer to the game fresher has fresh eyes um and is a, a pretty novice player at this point he's actually a pretty good choice because he does hit decently hard his passive is good and it's really it's actually quite good if you can get these one of these three um units beside him on the same team so um there you go that's him and then this goku right here he's probably 
As far as utility goes, he's probably the best out of the three. Um, he greatly raises attack infinitely and then raises defense infinitely. So he's great for long events. On top of that, he's going to be great for the legendary Vegeta event. So um, now granted, this is after his EZA. So uh, it's definitely worth it as long as you extreme z awaken these units so and this passive is key plus one at the start of each turn and defense plus 70 percent when there is a vegeta's family category enemy so that's why he's good on the legendary vegeta event and so um and then he has a chance of performing critical hit plus seven percent per key tech key sphere obtained up to 30 percent. so that's pretty good as well because tech units already have built-in crit so a 30% chance on top of his built-in crit is going to be pretty good. So yeah, I mean, these, these three units I would definitely recommend. And then this one, if you have all the three of these units rainbowed, definitely choose this guy. Because um, all the other pool of units, if we take a look again, all of the other pool of units, out of, you know, beyond those four units are not that great. Um, some of them don't even have their EZAs, and the ones that do have their EZAs are very old at this point. They're they're aged. They 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 don't hold up in the meta whatsoever right now. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, this this Goten right here, he he has some potential. I mean, even before his EZA right now, he's a Kamehameha uh, category lead. And so after easy after his inevitable easy a sometime in the future he's actually going to be pretty good because his passive is pretty good as of right now and i mean he's not great by any means but he's not terrible so he has a lot of potential with his um potential easy a in the future so but yeah, even though I'm making these suggestions and um, giving out this information to you guys, it's ultimately up to you what unit you choose. Um, so, or what units you choose, because there's multiple uh, books of war, sun family that you can use on each unit or multiple units. So definitely make a, a choice that's going to benefit your box the most. But overall, I think these are the best choice for you. All right. Bye, y'all.